This is Vladimir. Hi, this is Emma. Ah, Emma! Hello! Oh, it's very nice to hear your voice. Uh, so, tell me about yourself. How old are you? Uh, where do you live? What's your profession? How often do you like to have an intercourse? Uh, I'm 29, working as a business manager. I live in Troy, and I didn't quite catch that last part. How often what? Oh, I used to work intercourse. Copulation, you know? <laughs> You're a funny guy. All right. I think I can meet you for a date. So you live in Troy. Let's meet in a coffee shop, 10 o'clock sharp, Saturday morning. Uh, I'll text you the address. Whoa, you're a decisive man, aren't you? Don't you want to ask me if I have time on Saturday morning? Why? You don't have time for me? Yes, I, I do. Never mind. Okay, let's meet, like you said. All right, bye. Damn, I forgot to ask you about the level of education. I don't want to meet somebody who is smarter than me, like PhD or something. Here, I brought you some flowers. Yeah, how nice, thank you. Oh. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. It's normal. What's normal? In Russia, we always give flowers to females. That's a nice tradition. What do you mean by always? Every time when I go for intercourse, I bring flowers. Never mind me asking. What? You find something wrong with this instinct? No, I just don't want to talk about it with a complete stranger is all. What, are you saying I look strange? Huh? Okay, alright, let's change the subject. Try to have a, a normal conversation. How long have you been in the USA? Seven years. Thank you. I like it very much, especially the weather. It's way warmer than Siberia. Siberia? Is that where you're from? Yes. And you? You're from village, right? You look like a cowgirl to me. I'm, I'm from a small town, but I'm not a cowgirl. Well, don't be ashamed of who you are. I'm not ashamed. I'm, I'm just a city girl. I've never been close to cows or horses or any other barnyard animal. Do you get it? But you still look like a cowgirl to me. Okay, alright. Tell me, why do I look like a cowgirl to you? Your peasant sense of style, you are manly, your hair, the way you dress, the way you act. Nobody would believe you belong to high society. A and you're a member of high society? No, I'm not, but I'm not ashamed who I am. I'm a computer programmer. No kidding. But you still look like a cowgirl to me. You need some help. Maybe you should see a shrink or something. What's up with this obsession with a shrink? Everybody in America have a personal shrink. I don't understand why. They are nothing but money-sucking leeches on the face of society. They're not gonna help you. They're gonna help themselves with your money. Oh, now you're an expert in psychology too. Yes, as a matter of fact, I studied Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung in university. And if you study some, it would help you too. I understand a few things. If you fully comprehend that you're part of nature, you might discern the true meaning of life. But it's all transitory. Soon you forget this world, the soon this world will forget you. You're born to die. 
It's that simple, nothing to fear. Enjoy your life and be happy with what you got. Self-sufficiency is the key to a happy life and all your problems will evaporate. You're talking nonsense. Life is full of problems and we have to find solutions. It ain't that easy. We have to try really hard to accomplish anything. That's why you install those artificial breasts, huh? <gasps> You're a pig. I've had enough. I'm leaving. She has to learn to suppress her emotions. That's why I installed this artificial breath. Let me see you roll it.